Like not uh, training, not the fullest extent. I'd say, but no, yeah. you're training, but like you're training to be a fighter. That's like someone being like, "Yo, I can fly a plane better than you to a pilot." Yeah. It's like what? <laughs> but you can. So let's see if uh, actually Jess uh, comes back. Is this a matchup that I don't know? I'd actually like to ask her about it after the tournament. Yeah. But um, I think what makes this so matchup. Like, uh, no, yeah, continue. I saw them in winners finals. Uh, it was three one. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Just fifty fifty on whether it's your phone or my phone. Alright, so uh the hell sucks. <laughs> <laughs> he could have won that, yeah. Raga is so Raga invented rye bread. Bro, you can, you can. Okay, he just left. Okay, whatever. I was gonna say he should just say his name. Oh, was that a nil? Oh. So one thing I've heard about this matchup, and I'm gonna be looking for it a lot, is that I, I talked to BZ about it when I was playing it for fun uh, on my stream. A Twitch TV slash Jozu. And um, the one thing he told me that is important in this matchup is that, again, Sheik, you wanna do a lot of like, um, short hop fast fall fairs. So you don't want to do rising fairs in this matchup because you know the age old adage with this matchup, right? Where like when when Sheik is in the air, Marth wants to be on the ground. And when Marth is in the air, Sheik wants to be on the ground. You know what I mean? They both want like what each other want at different aspects. So basically you kind of want to be more like Marth wants to be more grounded because Sheik can juggle as if you've watched uh, Leffen versus um, Yo, who was he playing? Oh! oh. Oh, Yo! Yeah, that's some new shit! Oh my god! That was crazy! Dude! Let's go, oh, let's no. go strike! Let's get back in there, baby! That's not the best sign. That means Jess is like willing to just swag out now. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, dude, that like, was also optimal! Yeah. Because the because like since she does not have much like horizontal vert, you're right. Like it was swag, but dude, I love optimal swag. I yeah. fuck with optimal swag. That's well that's like optimal swag is literally just Zane. <laughs> actually, that actually is the perfect way to put it, because Zayn does stuff where you actually need to do it, or the, the space you lose. Yeah, like doing all the slide-off bullshit. So good. Dude, what what did we just yeah. plug in Sela? Oh, Rye Bread? Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice plug, Sela. Yeah, so, um, Jess woke up, because you're right, I saw some of the winner set, and Strike was, a uh, Strike was cooking, but, like, Jess kind of, like, adapted pretty quickly, or... I don't know. Like, I don't want to say that. It could be a combination of things. Like, maybe Jess needs to get acclimated to Sheik. Because MD, yeah. since Mr. Duncan here is in chat, we don't have any Sheiks anymore, right? Like, higher level Sheiks. No, fuck you, buddy. What do you mean? I just mean we don't have, like, <laughs> top 10 Sheiks. Yeah, no. His stream name is. Hey! <laughs> you should follow him. <laughs> Good time. Oh, uh, okay. But I mean, to be fair, like, I mean, even the Sheiks we do have, like, do you even play Jess that much, though? No. Yeah, I was gonna really. say, like, she doesn't even get experience to play Sheik. No, it's like sometimes I get matched up with her in Bracken, and that's about it. We usually yeah. don't play like friendlies too often. She does have her friend Chaka, though. Chaka, yeah, good Chaka. AB Sheik, yeah. had a good performance at Battle OBC. Uh, so, like, yeah, they're actually homies, so she does get the practice. But, uh, yeah, like, some of the things I'm seeing so far that are really working, that's the cheese, by the way. As a Sheik player, you're probably scared of that, but that's like some day one Sheik cheese if you don't know. As the Sheik player, you gotta watch out for Mark on that day. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Like, the other one is, like, forward throw near ledge. Oh. And then, like, you have to hold out, or if you hold in, you get fucking tipper F smashed. <laughs> you get F smashed, too, at, like, mid percent? Yeah. It's oh. If they throw you out near ledge, it's um. like a tipper F smash. It's the, Can they down tilt you as well? Every single person in new brackets does it, so it's, like, really easy to figure out, but... Yeah, honestly, I love the way that Jess is, like, is holding center stage. <laughs> Like just down tilting and narrowing any approaches that Strike tries to do. But she's also fading the back. So e so even if she misses, like, she doesn't take that heavy of a punish, right? Like, she gets a hard call it out. Yeah. Man, you know what's bullshit? I played what? in a scrub tournament, upset like five people, and then I <laughs> fucking faced Corey on loser's side. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, out of like 150 people. And then I ended up getting fucking ninth. It's like, man, fuck. Dude, they the keep homies. seating me like fucking ass too. It's like I, I literally get fucking top 13 every single time, but whatever. Just seed me 50th. It's okay. <laughs> Getting top every time, 50th. That, that truly is a first. Oh god. 
So it's like, to make it past winner's round two, I need to get an upset every single time. <laughs> Dude, some of those U-turns are killers. I mean, I got kicked out, and I'm not even, like, that good, and I was pissed about it, but I like it. Honestly, kick. I can see them kind of, like, kicking you out. I, I, the guy you faced... What? Like... Was he a complainer? Fives? Fives? I beat his ass. Yeah. I, so, like, you must have been dummying him pretty hard. Well, I mean, it's just, he just wasn't a... He had pretty good tech skill, he's from Texas, but... Yeah, but you see, the thing is, I mean, Adam, true, I, I yeah. still don't make it to top eight, like, most of the time, so I'm still stuck in being a scrub, I guess. Yeah, I mean, those tournaments are the perfect place to get better, though. Yeah. Yo, shout out to Dylan, though. Dylan managed to win one. Dude, Dylan's crazy. Yeah. Dude, there are some new players in Manitoba. I will say, like, Yo, even my, from My today. win rate versus Dylan is 2-0 for me, baby. Dude, that's actually, that stock is going to go really high. <laughs> dude, Dylan's crack, man. Yeah, dude, Dylan's going to be yeah. fucked. I, it, he's yeah. a part of... Like, you know those grinder groups or whatever that we have? The grinder groups is crazy. Yeah, dude. fucking Dylan's at, like, all of them now. He comes to all of them. Like, with uh, Corey, Amy, and Cruz, and I. Adam would get banned. And then, uh, past this. Yeah, Adam would get banned from only noobs just because he would fucking back throw a space and just keep back throwing them. And he'd get banned because they say he's cheating. Uh, okay, so, like, Amy managed to, like, win one tournament. So did, uh... Corey. Yeah, Corey, and then I guess Cruz won like an off tournament with like 120. Cruz is usually top eights or whatever. But uh, uh on only Dylan has like an only noobs win out of us though. Adam, I don't, I feel like he'd almost be free because the people who win them like they're not bad, but they're definitely not like yeah. good. I think it's like borderline. Like, okay. You'd be able to play with them where it's like you're not shit stomping them. Yeah, that, that's a good way to put it. You'd but be like, able to actually you'd, play. you'd win. Oh no! Oh, that was almost the one too. Honestly, for what's worth, like Strike is making these games really close, and Dreamland is definitely the point. It really is. Because it can be kind of hard. Like it's one of the it's one of the stages where I also feel that like Sheik. Uh... That being said, I feel like the earlier people who won only noobs might be like really good now. <laughs> yeah, like the early ones probably because they probably have. Because like it's like oh I already won and now I have to play in real tournaments now. Dude, in my opinion, only noobs is pretty much just to build confidence. You just yeah. build confidence you're like, I think, I don't to be even fair, though, like, you go into regular online tournaments and, like, you can go, like, 3-2 type of thing. Yeah. 3-2, 4-2. I can't. Like, I go 1-2, maybe. Dude, 2-2 two, two if I'm lucky. I knew when I was bad because I, I went to the TMT amateur bracket and then I got second losing to the same guy 3-2 twice. Okay. Yo, okay. Uh, that thing's, like, not fair, though, like... I'm pretty sure Muxedo plays in that. Oh, I think he makes pro bracket, though. Maybe, but, like, I've heard him enter amateurs before. But to be fair, amateurs in TMT is fun, because there actually are, like, people oh, on my that skill sucks. level. Oh. I, it's funny you were talking about that. Yeah, he yeah, did the that, throw mix up. <laughs> that's, that's the thing that happens all the time. That must happen to everyone. That's that's happened to Jess. Yeah, that's a, that's a mix up and a half. <laughs> I'm just, like, super used to it at this point. <laughs> Dude. Actually, you know what comes in handy because Strike is such a good Smash 4 Ultimate player? He's really fucking sharky. I feel like he really understands how to get under a character and knows like when to place his hitboxes and how yeah. to position himself. Well, that's the thing. It's like the transition between two games. You don't know. You don't like exclusively like use the engine. Oh my Ooh, god. What, what the, the fuck, fuck was that? Yeah, that was that was weird. Oh no, he's got Ryan's got those though. Anyways, like, you don't exclusively abuse, like, one engine and, like, use cheese or whatever. It's like you have to learn neutral and actually play neutral, like, exclusively. Ryan understands neutral very well. And he, he understands in a way that's, like, um, not overcomplicated. <laughs> yeah. like, I feel like he just, he does, Ryan feels like the guy who just me does what he needs to do. Yeah. He doesn't really ever feel unnecessary, you know? You know, I bet a lot of the top melee players... They'd be really good at boxing if they could get punched in the face. <laughs> That's like the only caveat. Dude, how many people in this scene do you think you get? I could take a man. I could take a fucking beating to the face. Yeah. If I actually worked out, I'd be a good boxer. I can feel it. Dude, I'm resilient as shit, dude. Yo, okay. I can get my ass beat. But if you're in a place where you have someone who's like absolutely curb stomping you, yeah. do you like give up at some point, or do you just keep fighting? Oh, uh, well, no, I'd get knocked Yo, out that was, first. That was really yeah. good. Dude, before I give up, I'd get knocked out. You yeah. Know what I mean? Because they'd probably be beating my ass sore. I'd be like, oh, and fall on the ground. <laughs> but, you know, I wouldn't give up, dude. Especially, in, like, in a physical sport, I don't really give up like that. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. No, he's Zelda. That's a meme. 